Yeah, yeah, how's it going, guys? One lap to go, almost right there, roughly. One lap to go for my truck to take this win. Hopefully, he wants out of gas so my driver Kevin, Kevin Harvey can catch up. But hell, this is one exciting race with certain fuel mileage and how drivers are handling their own pace with the race, and this is why I like this track so much. I do like Truex because I met him and he's the only NASCAR driver I've ever met but I hope he runs out just because I want my driver Hovick to win. And I doubt that's gonna happen but it is what it is. It would be, it would be horrible if those two guys work right, right there, right, right in front of Truex. That would suck big time. Seems like Truex is stealing up this race for the day. I mean, I knew Harvick was gonna lead a little majority of the race, but wasn't gonna be his race. When he last won at Sonoma in June of 2013, it was only his second career win. Rounding turn 11, and headed for home for Marty Visser and Furniture Row Racing Martin Truex. All right, Truex wins the race. I will take Harvick second place because he's been doing a lot better this season than last season and he is like a few laps shy of leading 1,000 laps this season so congrats to Martin Truex Jr. and hell we had Stuart Haas all in the top 10 today so that's a great race for Stuart Haas racing we got Harvick second, Boyer third, Elliott fourth Cowboys 5th, Cooper 6th, Eric Jones 7th, Amor 8th, Bowman 9th, and Suarez 10th. Thank God Logano did not finish the top 10, so I can call out a great race at least. And this marks two years since Tony Stewart last and final race win for the NASCAR Spring Cup Series. I do approve this race. This was a good race. I cannot complain much. Long victory, five hour energy. This is the monster ass race, at least. You could literally say. So, yeah, I'm excited for him. I'm happy for him. My driver did great today. Boy, a third. I'm impressed. He's been out of all this season for once. So has Cup Push for once as well. And, um,. Eric Amarola, he's proved me wrong. I thought he was going to do absolute shit, but I mean, he's doing better this season than pretty much any other season he has in his career. So I'm happy for Amarola. But Harvick, the man, him and Truex dominated this whole race today. It was just pure Harvick and Truex show. Obviously, Harvick had the, had the better car, but... Truex had the better strategy, so of course he was going to get a lead game. Harvick pit it early, and Truex stayed it for a while, and then I'm... Yeah, and that's how Truex managed to get a big lead, so Harvick raced better. Well, I, I'll say Harvick had a faster car, but Truex had a better strategy and better move. So yeah, I'll give him that, obviously. There was no catching the... 78 at the end of the race. I, you cannot deny that, obviously. So, good job, Truex, and good job to the Stuart Haas team. All four in the top ten. So, I definitely approve this race. I will take this. So, thanks for having a nice day. Please subscribe to my channel, and hopefully, in a f about next week -ish or so, we will be seeing a NASCAR Heat 3 announcement. So, stay tuned on the channel because I will definitely be going over it once it gets announced. So, yeah. Alright guys, take care.